Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So work out this area here. So that's this area here. Work out this whole area here. So uh, in order for you to sketch this, you would need to keep track of the radius. So you would have to sketch this. And then from this, you can then sketch this graph. So remember, it's, it starts from theta being zero and you, you increase it. So, so, uh, so when, when you, when theta is zero, so when theta is zero, the radius would be two. So when theta is zero, the radius will be two. So, so, uh, so it would be this point here. So, so you, 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 as you increase it, by the time theta gets to, uh, to pi over two, so this here is pi over two, the radius will be one. So by the time, by, by the time you get to pi over two, the radius will be one. So, so you start here, increase it. By the time you get to, to pi over two, you have a radius of one. And then by the time you get to pi, by the time you get to pi, the radius will be zero. So by the time you get to, to pi, by the time you get to pi here, by the time you get to pi here, the radius will be zero. That's this point here. And then as you increase it, by the time you get to uh, three pi over two, the, that, the radius here will be one. So that's, that's this bit here. Uh, it would be one. And then by the time you get to two pi, the radius will be back to two. So by the time you get to two pi, the radius will be back to two. So work out this area here. Okay. So uh, press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay. So to do this, we we have two options. We can uh, we can integrate it from uh, from uh, we can integrate it from zero all the way to all the way to two pi, or we can use symmetry. So just work out half. So, uh, so, so we can, uh, we can work, work out half from zero to, uh, to pi. Because by the time, so, so we can, we can work out from zero to here. Which, which, by the time we get to pi, by the time we get to pi, the radius will be zero here. So we can work out from, from here to here. And then later on, we can times it by two. Okay, so, so you, you, both methods will lead to the same answer. So the area will be given by this. You know? So, uh, so now, well, for us, we are going to, um, we are going to work, just work out from zero to, um, to pi. So that's this area here. And then we can later times it by two. So we can then, so, so we can then times it by two here. Okay. So, so the area is given by this. Um, and then, uh, and then, uh, this is a constant. Take it out. The two will cancel each other out. And don't forget, r squared is is this. Because if you look at the uh, the original um, equation, r is given by this. So r squared is this. So put this thing here into 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 here. So that would then take you to uh, to here. So now it's just a matter of integrating this from zero to uh, to pi. So now uh, multiply this out. That will then give you this, and then to th this is should be straightforward to integrate. Straightforward to integrate. Um, to integrate squared, to integrate cos squared, we would use this. Uh, we would use we would use this. So put this into here. So that that will then take us to uh, to well put it into there. It will it will then give you this, and then uh, and then now now everything is straightforward to integrate. So uh, but before you do that, merge these two together. So that will then give you this. Now, uh, now all the, now these three should be easy to integrate. So if you integrate, if you integrate this, um, uh, well, integrate this, it will then give you this. Integrate this, it will then give you this. And don't forget it's from zero, zero, pi here. So, uh, so now we can put this into here, put pi into here, put pi into here. That will then, well, if, if you, put, but don't forget, sine, your sine graph looks like this. So this is your sine graph. Um, so, so, so when you, when you put it into here, uh, sine, sine of pi, if, if you put, if you put pi into here, into here, uh, sine of pi, well, don't forget pi is here. Sine of pi is, is zero. So this thing here disappears. Put it into here. That will then give you sine of two pi 
for 2 pi would be here, which is still 0. So this thing here would be 0. Put pi into here, that would then give you that would then give you 3 pi over 2. Don't forget you've got to take away take away this. Well if you put 0 into here, this will be 0. Put into here, sine of 0 will be 0. Put into here, times th th this here will be 0 as well. So in effect you take away 0. So overall the answer would be this. So this is your final answer. Okay.